Good morning, it's Denise here at Junk Journal Junkie UK. Uh, hello and welcome to another Saturday sortie out, kind of. So I have been organising some of my bits and pieces. I'm going to share with you what I've done so far and then we're going to make a few bits of ephemera together. Um, so hello to all my returning subscribers. Thank you guys, you really are growing in numbers and you're coming and visiting me regularly, which I love. I love chatting to you below as well, so keep doing that. Um, hello to the new ones that have arrived. Lovely to see you guys too. Um, hope you're enjoying what you uh, find on my channel. Please comment below if you just want to chat or um, if there's something you specifically like to see, let me know. I'm more than happy to uh, try and accommodate anything you'd like to see. Okay, so um, I've been junk journaling for about coming up to two years maybe now so I'm still learning um, but I hear other YouTubers that have been doing it three four five years saying they're still learning so I think that's probably the fun of it so uh, my scraps box so those of you that have been with me a while will know it well I've brought it here we've been working through it for weeks and I have had a bit of a tidy up so last video I said to you I'll have to give it a tidy up at the end of this video so I've made these things out of the stuff that was in my box very nearly. So I'll explain more to you. And we're gonna do some more of these at the end. So a pocket, a pocket and a tag. You know, these are all made out of um, scraps and bits that I've got lying around. So I didn't cut anything up specifically. A couple of tags that need, um, you know, embellishing. A corner pocket that needs embellishing. And I really, I found this little birdie that I quite like on there on the top of my box. And I've made this, so I've got quite a few of these cut out in my box as well. So stamped, book page, bit of doily, and um, it wants sewing around, just some messy sewing before I pop my bird on there. Okay, I forgot to do him when I had my sewing machine out. So, um, the scrap box. I'm gonna start with a question for you guys. I'd love to know what you think. How small does a scrap have to be before it's not a scrap anymore and it's rubbish? <laughs> that's the idea, that's the thought I've been having um, hovering over the bin. Shall I put it in the bin, shall I not? And nine times out of ten I didn't. So little pieces like this, you know, often come in. I know they do because I tear things down this small to use them. But having them this small in your stash, would you use them? Do you use them? So I'm going to hang on to these and see if I use any of them today. And then I'm going to hang on and see what you guys tell me you do with your tiny little bits and see if you're all saying to me, throw them away. I might see if I can. <laughs> I'm not promising. OK, so these are the tiny little bits I'm talking about. Yeah, really tiny. So and these are all the other small bits I've collected together, um, sorting out my box. So actually not too bad. OK, I've got a couple of bigger bits and I've gone for the method of clipping everything together. So um, one or two pieces of, I've been sorting my digitals out, so one or two pieces of digitals that became scraps for one reason or another. So, you know, I've got a small pile of what are really scraps <laughs> compared to that tiny one. And then I put all my bits of music paper that was in the scrap box together. That's probably a bit close, isn't it? Let's see if I can lift you up a little bit. Music paper in your face on a Saturday morning. Okay, so it's scrappy bits of music paper, but it's still tied together. Little tiny, um, so there's some coffee dyed, strips from trimming, strips from uh, book, ends of book pages, you know, nice, thick, brown, neutrally scraps. Um, oh, there's a bit of a mixture going on in there. What's happened in there? So these are those things that I've made that bird one out of. Yep, so I'm going to make some more of those. Don't know whether I'll get to those today, but I'll leave them out. Maybe I will. Um, yeah, they just look like small paper scraps, a mix of everything. So all the bits that are not ordinary paper. So I've got some printed, it's not vellum, tracing paper, some wallpaper still. I keep using it up, but it never seems to go anywhere. Bit of sewing pattern, bit of serviette. Um, doily so anything that's not ordinary paper but a bit of text at the back but it's very thin paper that and then 
um, book pagey type things that can be made into pockets and things. I find keeping them in my scrap box a good, a good way of keeping the rest of the area a little bit tidier. Bases, scrap bases. So basically they were all um, bits of scrapbooking paper which is double sided and it's like it's more like um, a thin card or a very thick paper so good for bases I just rounded all the corners clip them together and then all my scrap cardy bits small card bits what's in the bottom or oh, just a few book pages okay so that's much easier to sort out I'm much happier when I get it out and use it okay so the other thing that I had in there was lots of um, cut offs of book pages and that's what I've been using that's what I've been making these leave those out that's what I've been making these pieces that I showed you on my desk with so I did press play didn't I yeah so I've obviously cut these out of um, I know these have come out of really big books that I've got like really big um, coffee table books I think you'd probably call them and I cut some pages up to make journals and I did make a few and a few of them are sitting in the pages box which we'll get to but um, I kind of got left with these square pieces that are not really, they're not big enough for pages. I could make a mini journal, which I do want to one of these days, but um, I thought there might be a good idea for making tags and pockets, which is what I did. So the ones that were the taller shapes like this are the ones that became these pockets. I just did two to, you know, have a little practice on and see if they can, turned out okay. So these, started life as those and all I did it, it you know it's quite obvious all I did was turn them up at the bottom I think I might have one here that's turned up and not had anything oh it's two look yeah so just like that folded them up at the bottom and actually they're a little bit wide as well so I trim them down the side so those become those and the tags oh there's another one. Oh, there's another one <laughs> I was mass making were where's my other sheets these really wide pieces of paper so what I did with those was fold them fold them and glued them together so that they're quite a nice thick tag so that these have been glued I've glued some ready so that um, they're dry for us to use that one's not that's glued that one's not so I've got four that are glued that we can do together um, and you can, fold, I, I was folding them the short fat way and then I thought, oh, I might need some longer, thinner tags. So I, I folded some of the thinner way as well. So these will all become these things. So let's keep the ones that I folded out. Put these back in. Yep. And have a go at making some of these. So I've brought along my little birds, my little fussy cut birds and some flora, for want of a better word and small butterflies that I'd like to get a few of those used up because I've got a lot of the smaller ones okay so um, I mean the tags are really easy let's start with the tags because basically all you need is one side for journaling and the other side just covering as a base for whatever you want to put on it so um, these two I simply used um, old vintage book pages with the plain pages from the beginning and the end of a book and then you know complete pieces of that was a scrapbooking a scrapbook piece of paper <laughs> scrap pad and this was a digital and I just you know filled the whole um, tag with it and stitched it round cut it into a tag shape first so they can be embellished with anything whatever I decide to use them in on the other one I um, it was more of a book page this one and it had this little stamp I'd obviously stamped something on the bottom of it you can't see it now um, but all I did was I put a plain piece of the book paper on the back and then this did come out of a digital I just ripped it out of the middle of a piece of a digital put a Tracy label on it and stitched it round so more collage I suppose so you can collage them or just cover them and both work well and I didn't make this to go with this but when I'd finished it it's, it matched so I just put it in, it was the right shape, size, etc. Okay, so um, I'm guessing what I need to know is 
And let's do, how many have I got? One, two, three, four. Let's do two of each. Let's do two quick ones that I can just cover with big pieces of scrap, scrap digital. So you can see where I cut that out of the digital. Um, and two where we do a bit of collage. Let me scrappy bits. We might get some of those used up in the collage. I mean, they're quite small. Perhaps they should be in the scrappy bits too. Um, that's pretty, but it might be nice on the pocket, that. So that's a piece of, I've already done one of those. That's a piece of something I've already done. Now this one, as you know, has been kicking around for a long, long time. So let's use that for one of them. Maybe that dark one, because it is quite a dark colored tag, that. Oh, I love that bunny rabbit. And um, yeah, we'll use a, a piece of him that hasn't got the bunny rabbit on, I think. So let me be good and clip all these back together. I know they're big pieces when I'm looking for them. Okay, so I hope you're all having a lovely Saturday. Um, if you've entered my giveaway, today is the day that it will be drawn. Um, later on, well, the video will be up. I haven't drawn it yet, but the video will be up um, Saturday, which is when this will be aired. Um, I don't know why I'm trimming that. What am I, I was trimming the rabbit off? That's what I was doing. Yeah, so Saturday in the UK, I'm thinking about seven o'clock ish in the evening, and I'm really sorry, I have no idea what time that is in the USA or that side of the world. I'm thinking it, no, I'm not thinking, I don't know. I don't know if I've got that big enough now. I've got a thinner one. No, that is the thinnest one. Clearly I'm not thinking, am I? Is he big enough to get the rabbit on? I think he might be. Let's use the rabbit as soon as I've cut it. So anyway, it will be up. So good luck to all of you that I've entered. Thank you very much. It was for a hundred subscribers and I've got um, about 129, 130 at the moment. So I'm really pleased with that. Okay, so um, let's get everything ready before we start with that glue because it's very hot here. I think I said 32 degrees yesterday and I, it, I haven't checked today, but gosh, it's, uh, it's warmer. It's at least that, maybe more. So the glue is going to be great fun. So it's so much easier going through here now looking for exactly what I'm looking for, which is bits of paper to back. There's a couple of pieces. Well, the sort of fly pages out of books to back the tags with. Yeah, I haven't even got any glue out and everything sticking to me with the heat. I know some of you guys live in heat like that all the time. Um, but we're definitely not used to it. Oh, well, I'm not used to it. Okay, so what should we do? Back or front? Let's just get something to glue on. Oh dear, that's not very much, is it? Is that all I've got? Oh no, there's a piece. That's better. Um, oh dear, I can't make a decision today. Get that dark one going and put the pink on it. Glue stick. Yes. Okay, so I have been using quite a bit of my stash of pockets and tags up. I'm pleased to say because I was a little bit inundated with them and they were all very much oddments so they didn't particularly it wasn't particularly a theme that matched so I'm now able to create more and I'm going to leave them kind of undecorated in the most one or two I will because that's the fun bit but um, not overly embellished is there a right way up for that I don't suppose that matters until I put something on it And go right to the edge that will save me a bit of cutting um what was i saying see my brain's gone already oh yeah i'm not going to overly embellish them so that when i fill a journal because i've still got quite a few journals to fill i can kind of go with a theme where's my big scissors gone? there they are um, rather than having all those tags and pockets etc sitting there and having to create new ones because they just don't go with what I've got. 
okay so there's the scrap scrappy bit so if i organize them as i create them life might be easier yeah, it's quite pretty that like it okay so are you going to fit on there not quite get a backing onto it not quite that way either so so of course if you're not chatting and talking and not thinking about what you're doing these will be so quick to make so i'm kind of calling these my bases these um pieces of book page so i guess i'm using up bases and creating sort of newish ones <laughs> ephemera bases did i use the other side of that and then turn it over quite lightly With all this tidying up i don't know where my glue book's gone i need to retrieve it okay so what i do with these is when they are completely dry i will go round sometimes i do it with the scissors but i'm not cutting very straight at the minute i'll go round with the um guillotine the chopper and make sure they're properly square especially before i sew them because it makes very wonky sewing if they're not so that little bit that's showing on the bottom so yeah leave it to dry a little bit trim it round make it into a tag shape stitch it and then embellish it after the stitching so that's one as quick as that um wait another oh we're gonna try the rabbit wasn't my is there a short fat one yes i think that will get the rabbit in so let's not waste too much of the leave a scrap worth using again I'll just stand that on its end or i'll forget what it is and put it in the scrap box that's very sticky paper Got anything under it yet? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm using um, glue stick. The paper is a little bit shiny, but it is going on to um, non shiny paper, which might help, but I'm sewing it afterwards, so I'm not overly concerned. Are you on? Let's get you on straight. Not overly concerned about it you know losing its stick in places it shouldn't do but just in case it's um it's going to be secured with stitching that's lovely isn't it love him he's not going to need much on him to be fair maybe some lace and a label something like that I'm cutting glue i'm going to make my scissors gloopy never mind Never mind, we're having fun today, aren't we? Nice, easy Saturday. I can't think that's enough off. So I can already see that's a bit wonky there. I'm better doing it on my chopper. So I think these are pages that I've used to glue once and folded over. <laughs> now then. I'm not sure I've got a piece out big enough for that. And I still haven't got any tea or coffee dyed paper on the go yet. I think uh, I really ought to get on with that. Uh, I didn't bring any more with me. I might have to collage the back. Let me just have another quick look, make sure I didn't miss any in here. Oops, let's take that out. Oh, I've got that handmade paper. Should we put some of that on the back? I know it's not the easiest. Oh, is that a oh no, that has butterflies on it, didn't it? It's not the easiest to write on, but you could if you wanted to, and it is pretty. And it will be another thing out of my box. Put that back in the box, otherwise I'll get it muddled up. Uh, what paper did we go with? I think I will. See if I can get those stuck on it. Wondering if they'll catch when I put them in and out of a pocket. Um, no, I'm thinking they probably would eventually. Change my mind. Oh, see, I'll have to tidy this out again because I've let it. I keep opening that because it's got butterflies in it. I'm not even 
sure I want to. I'd better keep it though. I might regret it afterwards if I use the back. Yeah, I've got lots of little pieces. Where's the tag? <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. Oh. Now, if I put it down the middle, I think I'm going to. Because by the time I've trimmed that ever so slightly on the uh, chopper, on the guillotine, that will just fit perfect. Oops. So I have um, been on Etsy this morning and ordered a few new digitals. I haven't printed any off yet, but I will share them with you when I do. So I will be um, creating and adding more scraps to the scrap box soon. And uh, there'll be digitals that we haven't seen in the scrap box as well. So that's always good. Yeah, so it does go off a tiny bit at the top. But even if that stays on, I'm not overly concerned. It's a pretty edge. So I am currently doing the uh, Christmas hashtag Vintage Christmas Day 2021 for Sweet Pea Papers. Um, and I am about to start on Monday my Queen Victoria album which I will be using some papers from Artie Mays, which I've had for ages. I've been wanting to make this album for ages. Oops, bent that one now. Okay, they are quite wet. Put a lot of glue on there. So those were really easy. And they're stitched round, cut into a tag, bit of embellishment, done. And we're going to um, collage these, aren't we? My fingers are very sticky already. Right, let's see if we can use some of these up. Just seeing if I've got a wet wipe somewhere near that's wet. Got some, aha. Uh -huh. I knew I'd seen them this morning. Might just reactivate the glue worse, but I'll give it a go on my hands because I'm, I'm going to stick to everything. Okay, I'd love to know what you guys are making at the moment if you're still if you're crafting and not to, not just following along with a particular thing, what do you love to sit and do, you know, on your, because I consider Saturdays my day off, if you like, so I sit and do things that I really love to do. Not that there's much in the junk journaling word that I don't love to do, but it's nice to just sit and think, you know, just crafting on the cuff, as it were, rather than on the cuff or off the cuff? Off the cuff, I think, is the saying. You know, rather than doing something that's sitting there waiting to be done. What's your go-to fun thing? Anything really sticking and gluing is fun for me. Um, but particular when there isn't a when there isn't a particular end goal waiting for it. Let's put that on, sorry. Put that on there because it's going to go over. So we'll collage the back as well as the front. Should have maybe put a piece under that before I put the big piece on. And never mind. No rules here. What shall we put on the bottom of it, do you think? I'm thinking a bit of music paper might be nice. I mean, I know it's for writing on, but who's going to write right down there at the bottom of that? Well... Somebody might, but they don't have to, do they? We could use a bit of... I've got more scraps in here. How did that happen? They've got put in two places. See, it's as easy as that. Right, have I got a real tiny scrap? Yes, I have a real tiny scrap of music paper. Uh, straighten it across there. Yeah, I won't put too much in, so I won't put the words in. What did I say there? Just to give it a little bit of interest. I usually put something on the back, a label or something, just to liven it up. Yeah, I like it. And it'll be stitched over as well, so uh, 
it will really disappear into the background and the right way up oh nothing on it yet I have to make sure when I put the um, collage on that anything directional goes to the top or we'll have upside down music yeah the only trouble with these is they are going to take a while to dry because they're like the pages are glued together in the middle and then you're gluing on this side and then gluing on the other side so there's a lot of glue there Um, right, I do love that. It was on the top and it's an interesting shape, so let's go with a piece of that. Got some possible green there, but I like the pink in it. Let's try and pull the pink out. This has been kicking around forever. Let's put a piece of this underneath. Definitely. I mean, I love it, it's pretty paper, but sometimes when you see it over and over and over and over again, you don't grab for it just because you've seen it so much. So, and I think it'll pull the, pull the um, pink out of that green paper. It's a little bit of pink and a little bit of blue in it. That, this. A Janie B paper, this one. Tiny bit of ink on the end, I think. Just to distress it a little. Yeah. Move it right across. didn't check what time I started filming. I don't want to make the, f the films are um, taking so long to upload at the moment. I don't know why, whether it's something to do with how busy YouTube is or how long my films are, but I know I regularly sit down and say it's a quick one <laughs> and 45 minutes later, I'm thinking, oh, I'm about to go. So, but I really want to get a couple of pockets done as well. So I might make this the last tag and go on and do a pocket or two so we get a bit of base done. Right, what we have in across the top. Okay, if you can hear some banging, I think it's my next door neighbour clattering on the wall. She's lovely, it's the lady that's attached to me. Uh, the other side are not attached to me, the noisy ones. Um, so she won't know she's making a bang. <laughs> she wouldn't do it on purpose. So this piece of scrap is a digital from, oops, Pam at the Paper Outpost and it's her letters and lace, I think it's called. Now, I don't want to have a problem throwing those two pieces out because there's more white than picture on them. But you know, would you keep that or would you throw it? Because I'm keeping it. <laughs> it's too pretty. I know you don't have to do anything you don't want to. I don't have to throw it out. Um, but I'm just interested if that's why I end up with so much junk in my scrap box because I'm not throwing the bits away that other people would. Right, so we're very square there. We're like cutting to three. So I, I want something down here on top of this. Uh, just to break it up a little. Oh, and we've got some of these tiny little pieces, look. So we could go across. Still very square though. How about if I just, yeah, that's it. I'm not asking myself a question, answering myself. I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> and you're answering me. <laughs> I know it's going to have an embellishment of something on it as well. Just bring, we've still got lines, haven't we? Let's see if we can 
put a, an embellishment on there now because I don't like all those straight lines. Now it's quite colourful, it wants something probably just green or just one colour, maybe a strongish colour to stand out. I mean it could be a bird but I'm fancying a plant on it. No. Let's have a dig through. So these are mostly fussy cuts. Did I try that one? I think I did. Yeah, it's just not stood out a bit. I'll link it round and see, but I don't think it's dark enough. Hmm. No, definitely not. No. Nearly stuck that. I want something quite big and bold on it. If I can't find anything in a minute, I will leave it blank until I find the right thing. Some ivy. No, I'm not liking any of that. Let me just ink this and see if it pops any more. I'm going to do it back here off camera so that I don't whack the mic uh, microphone tripod because it's got lots of little bits I need to get in and to darken down the white a bit right what do we think over here no I'm going to wait and sew it wait and see what the shape putting it into a tag and sewing it and trimming it down I guarantee it'll be completely different when it's dried and it's trimmed Okay, so I'll put a picture on at the end of this video so that you can see it. Um, there's the other two there. Okay, so let's get one of these pockets done then. Where have I put them? Scraps in the scraps pile. Okay. So, for speed, I'm going to put a big piece on the back again, I think. Get the big pieces out and to make it I'm not covering the backs of these I'm making them to sit on the page but um, you know if you change your mind and you want it as a floating pocket you could very easily just um, put something on the back that's pretty I'm just going to cut it down a little bit because that's definitely too big for most of my journals We've still got yeah, 11 centimetres there, which is probably as big as I could go. Because, as you know, I have to cut the edges off the, my digitals. Okay, so I've done one with that in the background. We've used that today. I do like that. Should we go up there with that? Yes, let's. Oh, I'm stuck to everything. So why did I say we wanted to be just above that? Because that's going to create a 1896. A scrap that we can probably use somewhere. We went from that side, didn't we? So if I just cut that green off as well. Again, it's a tiny scrap I might use somewhere. glue stick that will be one gone in fact I am I'm not going to fight with the glue stick today I've got a couple open I think I've got three all open because I do like a new glue stick <laughs> when it gets gloopy it's driving me mad I just put the lid on and start with a fresh one naughty but I do I mean I use them all up eventually they don't last me long all right, let's put that piece of paper in the bin before it sticks to everything on my table. Okay. Lovely. I wonder if I should 
should we just roll, fold that over rather than gloopy misses us up cutting it yeah so what we're going to go for on the bottom so we want a contrasting colour and keeping it pink and we put music paper no I don't like the pink and the pink definitely not um, it's like in these scraps not blue there isn't enough of that left that would be nice but there isn't um, no hmm. piece of map don't think so but we'll just we've got to audition it now I think I might be going with some music paper on the bottom of there again because it's going to have something on it now on the other one of the other ones that I made I don't know if I pointed it out to you I don't think I did I um I added a cluster or a part of the clusters that I made in one of the previous videos let's go across there get as many music notes in as we can obviously the stitching is going to come lower down so and I can glue that yeah I could fold that bit over the top as well so let's glue it all any more glue papers oh no I'm out okay bear with me right. here's this old book it's got a picture on it but I don't particularly like it so I'll glue on the inside and then stick the page together and it'll be another base Decide what we're doing that one. Oops. So we haven't had time to embellish any of them particularly. Um, no. That's a shame really because I know you guys like to see that. But I really don't know how long I've been filming. For the um, part of the camera, the video. That tells me how many minutes I've been it's covered up by the tripod the bit that holds it that grabs it so I can't see let's do that up a bit more and fold it over make a nice strong edge then at the top oh went from one extreme to the other that's it yeah I've barely got it on the bottom now but it's so gluey I don't take it off again so stitching will be across the bottom anyway and it will be might cut that bit short I did look crafting in all its glory here <laughs> warts and all yeah so um it'll have something on the bottom there like a uh, cluster or something like that no we're just out of reach and stitched and it'll look different again so really easy to do you could have collaged it like I did the tags but you, I suspect you've seen plenty of collaging to know what to do okay so and the fact they're just too wet to uh, to embellish so maybe we can put something on one of those tags that I made earlier these okay so quite busy and pretty background so they don't want anything too much Trying to put the old glue lid on the new glue, which has already got its lid on. Let's see if we've got any little tiny birds here. Just give my hands a wipe again. Very sticky. Little birds and butterflies, I think, because they're very florally back backgrounds. And I've got my labels as well, so I'll quickly put some bits on. Who have we got? It's nice and colourful. Oh, he'd be beautiful on there, he's just too big. Yeah, they're gonna have to be tiny, aren't they? Sorry, you can't see. I'll take some of the big ones out so I can see. Don't know if I'm gonna find any smaller than him. Are you small? Uh, you are, but you're not as nice a colour. Oops. Take the big ones out and then I've even got 
why is that in there? I think that was just tidying up out, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> oh, needs a little one. I mean, these are all perfect size for the pockets. No. Oh, he's a cutie. But too big for a lot of the tags. I like him, he's dark and he's got nice long legs. And he just fits. Okay, I'm not sure about that one. Have we got anything else for there? What did we say about you? So obviously you can have the, it's got a lot of floor that he's stood on. We don't need it. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at some labels. If I can reach it out. Okay, it's in this label drawer before. Before? Before. Right, bin. <laughs> Um, so contrasting colours, that's too big, no, don't, just don't know what I'm looking for, don't dislike that, don't think I want them too big, a number, Something up here, though, doesn't he? Little label. Nope. And this is the fun bit, but I can sit and do it for hours. That's the problem. It's not necessarily fun for you to watch. And there's a nice big one. Sideways one. Just try a couple more and then make a decision. One more. I seem to be going for all brown. There's some blacks. Right, let's have a look at what we've got and decide what we like. I'm just wondering if we could have two labels on there. Or is that silly? I do like that number down the bottom of there. I quite like this black with him but it needs something else with it unless it was behind him oh decisions decisions right, I like the birds I like the bottom labels it's just all this space up here what can we put above him and documented now they're black as well I'm, I'm liking the black yeah that kind of goes with that I know we've got a lot of black going on there yeah I'm gonna go with that okay all I need is a piece of paper to glue on Okay, so that's got me three, four, uh, five, six, about six, maybe seven tags made when I've stitched around them. And four pockets at the moment. Oh, I didn't glue it, I didn't do this around that. Ink is the word I was searching for and couldn't come up with. Let's do all the inking and then I won't forget. 
these birds are out of a, a book that's got nice stiff pages so oops they're uh, nice to handle now I could add some washi little piece of washi tape um, Could add uh, fabric toppers, you know, tag pulls. I'm not going to. I'd already decided on these two. I wasn't going to punch holes, but obviously some some tags will have holes and something through the top, so that will add a little bit more. Just this then. But some of them I just like plain at the top. Otherwise, you end up with too many um, tufty little uh, thready type things on your journals. I like a mixture. So I don't know, maybe they're a journaling card to you if they don't have a hole and a pull. I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, I'm liking those. So, and these three will look just as good when they're stitched. They are on camera there, yeah. And so will that, it will look like a completely different piece when that's got a cluster on the front and it's all sewn up. Okay, so thank you ever so much as always for keeping me company. It's been lovely to talk to you. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And uh, remember to look in tonight for the giveaway and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Hope you're all having a lovely day. See you soon. Bye bye.